Major League Baseball and its ongoing drug scandal this morning. One of the star players at the center of the newest controversy is now apologizing for his actions. Milwaukee's Ryan Braun, a former league MVP, has finally admitted to using banned substances after being suspended for 65 games. And NBC's Paul Ferris has the story. He denied. I would bet my life that this substance never entered my body at any point. And lied. If I had done this intentionally or unintentionally, I'd be the first one to step up and say, I did it. When it came time to confess that he did use those banned substances, Ryan Braun chose to release a statement online. And a lengthy one. Braun posted his nearly 1,000 word missive to the Milwaukee Brewers official website saying, I have no one to blame but myself. Those who put their necks out for me have been embarrassed by my behavior. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am for that. But for many of those he lied to, it was too little too late. I would have preferred to see him actually come out and face some music. He's already lied to us, so I don't trust him. Liar and a traitor. The Milwaukee Brewers outfielder blamed his decision to dope on a quote, nagging injury during his 2011 MVP season and turned to products for a short period of time. The products were a cream and a lozenge, which I was told could help expedite my rehabilitation. It was a huge mistake for which I am deeply ashamed, and I compounded the situation by not admitting my mistakes immediately. I think he took the easy way out by releasing a statement. I don't think he's going to get his point across completely until he comes out and faces everybody. In July, Braun accepted a suspension for 65 games and will be fully reinstated by Major League Baseball next season. But he may strike out when it comes to restoring his once Hall of Fame image. He is beyond embarrassed and says that he's just now starting the process of trying to comprehend why he responded the way he did. And he said his reality was clouded, but of course, a long ways to go. He said he will never make those same mistakes again. He did wag his finger, though, when first accused. I agree with Tim Kirchner oh, yeah. in the piece. Until he takes questions about it, it's not Agreed. going away.